We're here at the Arabic school. Uh, of course, there are lots of supplementary schools in, in Manchester. For us, our aim is to teach the Arabic language. That's the first aim. And also to maintain the identity of the children as Arabs, to know about their culture, to learn about uh, the customs of their countries, about different things uh, like the, the way we dress back in our countries, about celebrations, about daily life, and try to give them a taste of it. <laughs> Working with children at schools, the Arab speakers, it's a way of uh, building bridges between different nationalities, different children with different languages. So an Arab boy will go to a Polish boy or girl and they will ask them, look, I can write your name in Arabic. And that Polish girl or whatever British or whatever nationality, they'll start copying the word in Arabic. For them, you created a, a new friendship in a classroom, yeah. Sometimes during the speaking, because they have to discuss um, a topic, so we encourage them, even if they don't feel confident to use Arabic, standard Arabic, they can use or say the word in their own dialect, and then others can help them say it in standard Arabic. So they are learning from each other, and like uh, at the same time learning the dialects of others and learning Fusha by helping yeah. each other. We can do like a spider diagram where you put the word in the middle and then tell me what is it in your dialect and how do you say that. So you end up having like four or five different words for one word. For example, tomato, tomatoes, bandora. They would say tomatum, tomato, whatever. So we have like tomatish, there you go. <laughs> so uh, that I've done lots of uh, spider diagrams where you just tell me how you say that. <laughs> من يقرأ لي هذه الكلمة؟ من يقرأ؟ يوسف؟ نحلة 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 أحسن I've experienced over the years I've been working for more than 20 years now in this uh, in this field uh, supplementary schools, teaching languages, etc. that children who are uh, put in an environment where they feel they belong to a certain culture or to the language that the parents speak they feel more secure in a way to be able to face outside their house. <laughs> Salaamu Alaikum everyone and good morning and I'm really pleased to have you all in here for our first uh, end of year ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> 